guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Meghan Markle royal wedding inspired look. We all have been waiting for the moment to see Meghan Markle, walk down the aisle, what's she going to wear, what's her makeup going to be like, what's her hair going to be like. So I, of course, stayed up just to watch that moment where she stepped out of the car and we all got to see what she looked like and what she decided to wear and I honestly was blown away by the simplicity and the elegance of the choices that she made for her wedding day. If you'd like to know how I got this Meghan Markle bridal look, please keep watching. So Meghan has a super glowy, kind of dewy look, not necessarily too dewy, but it does have a certain glow to it. Meghan's signature look has always incorporated some glow into it. She always has a super fresh and glowy look. So I went ahead and I used, and there's also a very minimal amount of foundation on her skin. You can see her freckles, which is something that she really wanted to do. So she did less of like a cakey foundation or more full coverage. There was like barely any coverage actually. So it was like a lot of her natural skin. For me, the foundation that kind of gives me that look is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. This is the shade 107 Fresh Beige. So before doing this eye and filming, I went ahead and applied this foundation and my Tarte Cosmetics Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer in Light Medium Neutral. And I chose this because it's water-based, it's more dewy, and it gives you more of like a glow. So the way I did this eye is I used the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette and the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. So what I did first was I actually went in with this shade right here in the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. And I basically used this to set and highlight the brow bone. I also brought it down a little bit and it's more like I'm like patting it on than like brushing it or wiping it on. So I do bring that down quite a bit here. Also her brows are super super natural. So I kind of attempted to do a more natural brow which is kind of unusual for me unless I'm doing like a out the door look or something like that or if I'm super rushed. And I actually didn't even clean them up or anything. I didn't use concealer to clean them up. I kind of just left them there as natural as I could. So I'm just bringing this down into the lid a little bit here, which will also work as um, a smooth transition for the shade that I'm about to use right now. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm gonna start applying that. And I'm like almost lightly feathering it, starting at the base of my lash line right here. I'm just gonna start lightly feathering that and working my way up the lid. She has like a sort of smoky, like a daytime, lighter, smoky eye going on. So this is something that I thought would work really well because it's not too heavy, it's not like too over the top, and it's not like your typical super like nighttime smoky eye like night event or something like that so I went pretty light so I'm just going to continue this look for me was mainly just like blending um, there was a lot of blending especially when I added the black shadow and the black liner on the lash line you can take that up a little bit into the crease here because you will eventually end up um, blending that out with the next shade that I'm gonna use. So you just kinda give it a nice little tint and it's always going to be darker on the lash line. So always feel welcome to pack it more here at the lash line right here. So I'm always pressing harder at the bottom and then as I go up, I'm touching it lighter and lighter. Mainly because I don't want such a dark dramatic um, pigmented look up here in the eyelid. I want it all down here. That's where the definition comes in. Just to create more of like a smoother transition, I just quickly, very quickly went in with this shade right here. And I just super lightly brushed that shade into the crease here. 
it's not too harsh, nothing too crazy. You don't press down, just like blend it very lightly into the crease. There we go. And this kind of just blends and brings everything together from that brown shade that we just used. I am going in with the shade Coco from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. And with that same brush, I'm going to take a very light amount onto my brush and I'm going to pack it even lower and closer to the lash line here. Right along here. And you can do that all the way across like we did with the first brown shade. But this is to add that depth and that definition. And like the first shade, you can start bringing it up very lightly. And I wouldn't take this shade as high as the first brown shade. I would keep this a little bit lower, but make sure that you blend it out enough so that there's not like a super harsh line where you can see the separation between the two shades. I'm actually keeping it a little bit more. I'm keeping it much darker and packing more, I should say, um, on the outer corner of my eye here for that definition and to create that shape. Because if you notice in the photos, her eyes are pretty almondy, so they kind of just like go up into like this really pretty shape. Um, so with doing this, this will kind of give you that um, kind of shape in your eye. I kind of have almond eyes, so it's a little bit easier for me to do that. But for someone who has like more rounded eyes or something like that, it might be a little more tricky. This is when we start putting the black into the eye. And the trick to this part for me with getting that kind of ombre-ish look, even though it's like not completely ombre, um, is building. So I kind of just started applying a little bit of this black truffle shade and I put it right along the lash line, very little, I like barely, barely touched it. And then you can start putting that along the lash line here. And this is where we're going to start building with the black. And like I said before, a little bit more shadow on the outer corner. Make sure there's no super harsh lines, that it's nice and blended out. I'm just going to put a slight amount in the outer corner of my lower lash line. And that should really be enough to create that kind of smoky look. So just to deepen that black shade a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs eyeliner and I'm going to put a very little amount into the lash line. And I'm going to put it as close as I can to my upper lash line. You can go back in and start blending that as much as you can. Once you feel like you've blended that out a little bit more, go ahead and go back in with that black shade and deepen that black line as well. I personally didn't want to do such a harsh um, black liner because she has a very natural look. So I still wanted to keep it looking natural, just with the right amount of smokiness and a definition to the eye. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes, add some mascara, and then apply my other false lash. Going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic. And you can't really tell, well, I can't tell from the photos whether she's wearing false lashes or if they're her own 
lashes with just mascara. I'm not really sure. You don't really get too much of a close-up um, on what's really on her lid in any of the photos. Maybe they'll come up later. Um, but I'm doing this pretty much the day right after and all the photos that are out right now kind of have her looking up. There's not really many photos of her looking down. So you can't really get a glimpse of her lid or any of the products that she's wearing or if she's wearing liner, if they're lash, uh, false lashes. But for now, this is pretty much what I've come up with. So while I'm waiting for my lash to get tacky, I'm going to start slightly bronzing my face. I wouldn't say that there's a real contour in her look. There's more of like a very bronzed kind of warm look around her cheekbones. So I'm going to very lightly go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Original Contour Kit. And I'm going to take this shade right here. I kind of just mix them all together to be honest. So whatever you feel works best on your skin tone. I'm going to really just lightly tap those three colors, mainly this one at the end. And I'm just going to lightly glide this brush along where I would usually contour and bronze my face. And I'm really going to lightly do this. I don't want to press down or go too crazy with the contour. She has a very natural look with a slight bronze. So weird to see my skin so bare. You can kind of see there's like a very light contour, not even a contour, very light bronze going on. And there is some glow on her. So I will be using a highlighter to kind of add a very subtle glow to my cheekbones because a lot of the glow in her look basically just comes from like her skin and um, the overall look. It's not necessarily like actual like highlight or glow that she adds. I'm going to go ahead and kind of just set my under eyes a little bit with this shade right here in the palette. And I don't think she really had to do much of this because she wanted that glow. I feel like I need to tame my glow a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my other lash. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the L'Oreal Telescopic again and go ahead and apply some to my lower lashes. She has quite a bit of mascara on her lower lashes. So you wanna make sure you kind of put enough to make your bottom lashes apparent. So I'm actually gonna go in with this highlight shade in the Carly Bible Deluxe palette. I actually really want to go in with like a smaller brush because it's so precise, like the area that she has it in. I just, it's like really up in her cheekbone right here. And it's very precise in the area that she has it. It's like really, see, you can kind of see that? It's like very subtle doesn't bring it down too much either so it's just there so you can kind of see that there very light not too crazy go ahead and do that to the other side does have a very very subtle glow on her nose right at the tip it's on my nose here and a very small amount on the bridge of my nose blend that out after zooming into the photo like a hundred times I realized that she has a very slight amount of glow in the inner corner of her eye so I'm just gonna take that same um, gold champagne highlight and put a very small amount into the tear duct here. Just gives it a little bit of glow, not really too much. 
um, drama, nothing too dramatic. It kind of just brightens up her eye, makes it pop a little bit. Now we're going to add some blush because she does have some blush going on. Um, I wanted to pick something that was still kind of pinkish but had some nude in it. And this is something that I've been using like in every single video just because this shade has looked really great on my skin and worked really well. It's not too overpowering, it's not too pink. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. And you guys are probably sick of seeing it in all of my videos, but it's this one right here. You can kind of see it still has that pinkish tone, but it's also um, more on the nude side. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that. I'm looking at the picture right now. She has it very high up in her cheekbones, so I'm just going to pop a little smile. And I've been really liking the system of doing my highlight first and then putting my blush on top because it kind of just like smooths it out and blends it in with everything, makes it less harsh. I'm going to give it another spray. Doing this in between really helps to keep everything together and helps all of the product that you're putting just sink into your skin in a really nice natural way. For lipstick, I couldn't tell if she was wearing like an actual lipstick or if she was wearing a gloss or it definitely wasn't a liquid lipstick or anything matte. So I actually went for looking for an actual lipstick. And I realize I don't really have too many of them because I'm used to using liquid lipsticks. So um, this is something that I had that was probably the closest thing to the pinkish nude tone that she was wearing. This is actually a lipstick that comes with a lip gloss and an actual lipstick in here together. Um, and this is by Lorac. This is actually their special edition Pirates of the Caribbean um, makeup line so this is something that I had and it just happened to be the perfect um, shade that I was looking for. Before I apply that I don't think she actually is wearing lip liner but me for the purposes of my tiny lips I always have to have um, liner and this is a brown shade LA girl lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips super quick. Nothing crazy I just want to like barely kind of add a trace to where I want the lipstick. Her lips really aren't overdone or too over the top. They're very natural and it almost seems like she just added like a lip balm or like a gloss on top of her own. So I mean, who knows? She might have just done that, but there does seem to be a pink hue to her lips. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with that Lorac lipstick. It is in the shade Me Hearties. <laughs> and it's this one right here. One last spray with the MAC Fix Plus. Alright guys, so this is pretty much the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Meghan Markle Royal Wedding inspired look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I will leave the products listed below down in the description box. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Don't forget to hit the bell for a notification whenever I post a video. You will be the first one to be notified. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.